Hello, Crazy Surfer here. Sorry about my absence, but I did catch a little bit of Hurricane Dorian footage at the boardwalk in Indy Atlantic, and I thought I'd share it. I had just finished hiking a bunch in the summer, so my body was pretty beat up, and I was just up filming some waves when this gentleman popped into my sight down the beach. I rode my bike down there and started to film him surfing. When I got down the boardwalk to where he was at, he was already catching waves. But as happens at the boardwalk, they're mushy and they don't last very long. The sets look good, but as you can see, they peter out pretty quick. Here he pulls into a barrel, but as we all know at the boardwalk, it is hard to come out. It's a good view for a second, but it just clamshells on your head. A couple of more boardwalk waves, same problem, close out here, happens all the time. It looks like a great face, you get started and then the whole thing mushes out. You know, that's how we do it at the boardwalk. And then all of a sudden, sweet perfection at the boardwalk. Look at this beauty, beautiful fan, three huge turns right down the line. The old adage, if you surf long enough, the way that you want will come. And then another huge straight up the face vertical fan. Bam! What a hit. Here are the two good ways with a couple of the better sections slowing down so you can see them better. Vertical hits like this don't happen often at the boardwalk, but when they do, it's always nice when someone catches them. And this next wave, which is a repeat, is another one. Beautiful fan, great snap right off the lip. Doesn't happen often, but when it does, wahoo. This ain't Hawaii, this is Florida. It's nice to see that. Here are a few bonus waves that I've recorded. Here is a fun one with everybody trying to hurt each other with surfboards. She does a big cut back in front of the longboarder. Instead of turning out, he turns right at her, hits the lip, and they see if they can crack heads. Instead, they both bail out and boards go everywhere. Florida surfing at its finest. Here are some of my favorite waves personally. This is my 11-foot Hobie. All of these waves are from 2015. Most of them having the famous Crazy Surfer dismount. Wahoo! I love jumping off my surfboards and bailing out. This next wave is one of my favorites on film from Hurricane Bertha. I want to say 2015, maybe as far back as 2014. A classic sunrise wave. Got in the right spot right here and just tore down the line. Great memories. So now I will slow this down and break it down for you. This is the takeoff. I love burying the nose for a quick second, getting that splash of water just for effect. Nobody does it better than me. Stand up, turn in too early like I always do, way out in front of the wave, but then all of a sudden I'm at the peak and it just opens up in front of me. Great effects with the sun off the lip. The lighting on my body with the sun, just pure perfection. Man, did I enjoy this wave. And then of course, as it starts to get near the end, I go with the classic Crazy Surfer, pure euphoria, doesn't even care that he bruises his own back on his own board because of how awesome that was. The next wave I'm going to have here in a minute is from February of 15 and it shows you a great classic longboard beatdown. I was on vacation this week. I thought I was going to get better surf. It only happened one day. I was catching some good waves, but again, as you can see, way too far out in front of the wave. But now the fun starts. Bam! One hit. Not fun, but this I slowed down to show you, man that is not fun, that much water coming over, hitting your board, dragging it, 
but how pretty was that inside the barrel? I may not get good barrels, but my board does. You know, one for two, not bad. Here I am, I think I can make it, I think I can make it. Nope, not gonna make it. Another dive, another crash, another dragging, but that was the last of it, and I made it. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.